All right, everybody. Today I'm going to be going over exporting your uh, maps and cleaning them up in Photoshop. So I've got these three materials. I've got a metal, wood, and a marble texture. So if I rotate this and have the light hit it, you can see there are different levels of shininess and height maps and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to clean these up. Go to File, Export Textures, and export to the map, uh, export to your file. So I'm going to select this folder for cube. Make sure it's on PBR roughness. Uh, I'm going to change the texture size to 2048. I'm not going to have this at dilation infinite. That's important. Do not have this at dilation infinite. If I had dilation infinite, what it does is it'll take the edges so if you see over here, uh, you see over here, I've got my color or my material. What dilation infinite does is it will take these edges and stretch them out to the edges of the map and they'll just keep going. And what that does is it makes, uh, it makes sure that there's not going to be any, uh, artifacting when you import your textures into a Maya, uh, Unreal Engine, Unity Engine, any other engine, rendering engine. So that's why, that's what the infinite di dilation is. So we only want it to come out to about here just to give it a little bit of dilation. That way we're not, you know, that way we have some room to play with. So I'm going to put this to dilation plus transparent or transparent and I'm going to set this to about uh, five and since I'm work working in the global settings this affects all my materials and all my maps so if I click on this this you can see up here everything's saved I can also come in here say I don't want this one to be that I can adjust this one by clicking on this little icon right here little pencil but for the most part I'm gonna make sure all my objects are saved as the same size map so uh, I'm saving them as a PNG uh, I'm gonna save the size as 2048 dilation and tra plus transparent and I'm gonna set dilation down to about five and I'm gonna save these settings and then I'm going to go back to export textures this changed, so I have to change this. Desktop. I have to find my folder again. Cube, select. So always double check. Save settings. Let's see if it saved that this time. Yes, it did. OK. So it saved it. Now I'm going to hit export. And it'll tell you under each material what it exported. 